Hello, grade 10. Um, your learning objective for this video is to find the area of a non-right angle triangle. This is the only learning objective that you're going to have in this video. Okay, so let's derive the formula or the equation for you to be able to solve the area of a triangle. I'm going to give you a non-right angle triangle, which is called triangle ABC. Okay. And in this triangle, we're going to label its corresponding sides. For each, for each angle, there's a corresponding side, just like what you have learned in the classroom. So for angle A, I have a pointer here. Angle A, its corresponding side is the side opposite to it, which is we're going to label A. And then the same thing with B. So here's your angle B, and then its opposite should be side B. And then the last one is side C, which is opposite to angle C. You already learned how to do this and how to label your triangle accordingly or appropriately. Okay, so now let's draw a perpendicular line from point C. Your point C is here down to side AB or what we call side C. So let's have that perpendicular line and that perpendicular line will make a 90 degree angle. So let's call this new line um, H and that would refer to height because this line will be the height of the triangle. Okay, now if we go back and recall uh, the formula for getting or solving the area of a triangle, you will remember that area is equal to one half times base times height. And in this triangle, we already have our height, which is eight. And then in this case, the base of our triangle is actually side C right here or line segment AB. Okay, so if we want to get the height of this tri uh, the area of this triangle, we just have to do one half times base times height. But in this case, we won't be given the height. Okay, so what we're going to do is use trigonometry and your trigonometric ratio to be able to find the formula. So let's derive that one. So in here, once we already have the height, okay, so then area is one half the base is side C here times the height. This will be our equation one. Okay, there you go. Now let's change some of, this, some of the things. So in triangle ACN, that means we have a smaller triangle. We now have ACN, okay? And we would like to have sine A. This is your angle A. Okay, it's opposite side. Remember that sine in your trigon basic trigonometric ratio, sine is opposite side over hypotenuse. So opposite to, ang to angle A is H. So you have there your H over or divided by hypotenuse. And your hypotenuse is represented by side B. So we have side B here. Now, rearranging your formula, we divide both sides, sorry, we multiply both sides by B, so that after that, it's going to be B times sine A equals H. Remember, this is just cross multiplication, so you multiply both sides by B. Okay, now, from this equation, we are now going to substitute H from what we have in equation 1. Okay, so if we do that, we will end up with area is one half C times your H here. We're substituting equation one, one half times C. There you go. You, have, you see one half times C times we replace your H here by the B times sine A. Okay, so now your new formula or equation is whenever you have a non-right angle triangle is one half times C times B times sine A. Now, take a look closely that your angle is the included angle of 
your given sides. Your given sides are B and C. Okay, I'm now going to remove H. Okay, if you take a look at B and C, A is the included angle. It's the angle between the given two sides. Okay, so your final um, formula, and I would like you to write this down in your notebook, area is equal to one-half times B times C sine A. And the same thing that you can also have any side and you can use that same formula okay so area is equal to it's the same in these with using all these three formulas all you have to consider is that this formula uses two sides and the angle formed by those two sides or and what i use in class is that you say two sides and the included angle it's the angle between the two given sides. So I'm going to take, I'm going to show it to you. Okay. If it, if you have side AB, then that means you're going to use angle C because angle C is the included angle. Now, if it's side B and C that's given to you, you'll be using angle A. So you can see the here, one half times B times C times sine of your included angle A. Okay, now, if it's, if it's A and C, look, here are your two sides and the angle between those two sides. Okay, I hope it's clear. If not, pause the video and make sense of all these animations that I have been showing you. Okay, let's have some few examples. I hope you are ready. Okay, example one, find the area of the tri triangle PQR. You're given so many information, but you don't need all of them. You only need the two sides and its included angle. Which, which angle is the included one? It should be the angle between the given two sides. Okay, so if that's the case, area, okay. We know PQ and RQ, so use angle Q. So area is equal to 1 half times 7 times 8 times sine 64 degrees. So it's the angle in the middle. Use your calculator now. You can do 0 0.5 times 7 times 8 times sine 64. Okay. Using three significant figures, you should have gotten in your calculator 25.2 square centimeters now um grade 10 because you're solving area please be aware of your unit because you are solving for area so it should be a square unit okay let's have some more examples okay now i have here a triangle stop the video and then solve this on your own and then once you have solved it uh, play the video again and then see if you have gotten the same answer as what I have here. Okay, let's continue. So, should be when you are now substituting the values of your formula or equation, area of angle or triangle ABC should be 0.5. Now, look what I have done. Instead of using 1 half, I replace it with 0.5. You can also do that times 4. That one side over here, and then this should be angle A, side A, and that should be side B, okay? So 0 0.5 times 4 times 2.5 times sine 70 degrees, the angle between those two sides, okay? In your calculator, you should have 4.7 square centimeters. Always write the unit, okay? I hope you have the same answer. The next triangle, okay, again, pause the video, solve it on your own, okay, and then check if you get the same answer. Okay, now area of the triangle, you're given M side M here, and then that should be side K over here, but this means 35 meters. This one is side M, the opposite of angle M, and that is side K, opposite of angle K. 
So area of the triangle, let's substitute the values, 0.5 times 30 times 35 times sine of 130 degrees. The answer or the solution is 402 square meters. That's all grade 10, and I hope that this lesson is clear. If not, just like what you have done previously, go back, watch the video again. There must be something that you have missed, or sometimes it's just the use of calculator. Remember to double check the mode of your calculator. It should be in degree mode. Okay, by grade 10.